Welcome to Homestyle Woodcrafts. My name is James and today we're going to be making wood hearts which are useful for lots of different craft projects. I'm also going to be cutting them out with four different saws just to demonstrate that you can use whatever tools you have on hand and it will work out. So let's get started. I sanded down the big pieces of wood with my random orbital palm sander. That's a mouthful. Uh, just because it's easier to sand the big pieces. Let me show you what I did. The first thing I did is printed out a heart from clip out on my computer and trace it onto some cardboard. I used a paper plate and I cut it out and made a pattern. Then I traced it out on the wood like this. The first saw we're going to use is a coping saw. This is a tool that's used for fine work on cutting trim, but it can be used for many woodworking purposes, including cutting out hearts. It has a thin blade, so it can be used for cutting curves and more intricate work. These saws are inexpensive, so if you've got a small shop or don't have a lot of money for tools, then this can be a useful tool uh, in your tool collection. As you can see, the teeth point down, so the cutting will be done on the downstroke or the backstroke, depending on how you have the saw oriented. So let's give this a try. As you can see, the wood needs to be clamped down firmly because my hands will be on the saw and the wood piece needs to be secure. So you can see uh, it's a little rough right here uh, on these edges. I didn't keep it straight up and down right here. And at one piece, one part, uh, this actually broke off the larger piece, which made it a lot harder to clamp down securely. You'll notice I put gloves on because I kept hitting my knuckles on the bottom part of the clamp. But, so this looks pretty rough, but it will actually clean up pretty good I'd use a belt sander. Okay, the belt sander has a, a rough grit on it and it will do good in kind of smoothing out some of the rougher edges on this part. There's a little curve right here. I kind of like, it's a little bit unique. Um, I'm going to try to preserve that if I can. So, let's give it a try. Much better, whereas before it looked like a disaster, but very salvageable and very nice. Got this unique curve here, so ended up really good. Next, I'm going to use a jigsaw. A jigsaw has a relatively narrow blade, which will allow us again to do the curves of the heart. This blade goes up and down, attaches right here. Uh, it's a very handy tool. And because I'll be holding the tool in my hands again, I'll be clamping the work securely down to my work uh, bench. And again, we'll clean it up at the end with a uh, sander. The third saw we're going to use is a scroll saw. The scroll saw has a very fine blade, the finest blade that we're going to be using today. And because of that, it has the most ability to do intricate cuts. Now, 
In this case, I won't be holding the saw, I'll be holding the piece of wood and moving it around the blade. Let's give it a try. There you have it. The last saw I'm going to use is a bandsaw. Bandsaw gets its name uh, from its blade, which is a big loop that runs up and down all the way around. I've never done cut out a heart on the bandsaw, so it's going to be a little bit of adventure, but I think you can do it. So we'll give it a try. There it is. Actually worked pretty good. Before we go any further, I just want to point out that even though you haven't seen a lot of me uh, in the as I've cut these out, I have been using uh, safety glasses, dust protection, ear protection. I encourage you to use appropriate uh, safety measures when you're doing this kind of work. So here's here's the final result. This is the one we cut out. With the coping saw, jigsaw, scroll saw, and finally the band saw. So I'll I'll just kind of go through each one of these. So what I like about the coping saw uh, is that it's inexpensive, it's small, uh, it's it does take some skill to use, and I could use more of that skill, but it turned out okay. I'm, I'm pleased with the results. The jigsaw was faster than the coping saw. The coping saw took the longest time. Um, the jigsaw was faster and had good results. I like the jigsaw because it uh, is small, it's easy to use, lots of control. The uh, scroll saw I felt like gave me the most control and probably my favorite for this project. A great saw also turned out well and I'm very pleased with how the bandsaw went that's the first time I've used it for uh, this kind of project and it, it turned out really well probably my second favorite uh, on the coping saw and, and the jigsaw ones I did go back and trim them up a little bit but I only used the original tools I didn't use a power tool in this case or any other tool besides the jigsaw in this case and afterwards I sanded them up with the belt sander uh, and uh, sanding always does a great job of kind of cleaning up the little mistakes later on we're going to do a video about taking these hearts and decorating them painting them etc so if you're interested in that uh, watch for it I'll put the uh, I'll put that in the description so that's it four hearts four saws turned out really well if you enjoyed this video I encourage you to subscribe and we'll see you next time